get ready for this advanced legs and butt routine. Make sure you warm up before beginning. Take rest periods throughout the video as suggested and drink water before, during, and after your workout. We're going to begin with side shuffles. You're just running from side to side. This lateral run is very good for balance as well as cardio and getting your legs warmed up for the workout ahead. So it's basically three steps to the right and three steps to the left. To give a little bit more bang for your buck, as you run from side to side on that third step, you can raise your knee up towards your chest. And then you'll be including your abs as well as the legs and butt in this workout exercise. Moving on to butt kick curls. This is a great combo move in addition to the cardio vascular system working. You've got the upper and lower muscular systems working as well. So your legs are working, your hamstrings in the back of your legs, your butt muscles, your core, your arms, front of the arms, the biceps muscles as you're curling your arms. Keep moving, keep, keep kicking those heels towards your butt and curling your arms while you're kicking your heels towards your butt. So it really is jogging in place with kicking your heels to your butt and curling your arms. Let's get into a squat jump. So you're gonna squat and then jump. So they're like jumping jacks, except you're squatting and then jumping up. So when you land, you're going to go into a squat and then back up into a jump. Be careful, make sure you land softly so that you don't hurt your knee joint and keep your knee behind your toes. Great cardio move, also very good for the legs as you're squatting, that is a very, very Good muscle workout for the quadricep muscles or the front of the thighs, as well as your gluteal muscles. Keep breathing. Make sure your knees stay behind your toes at all times. Okay, we're in the Olympics. We're speed skating. Here we go. You want to make sure that as you're hopping from side to side, you're bringing the one leg behind you and then going into a squat. It's almost like a curtsy. Remember, as you're hopping from side to side, to be light on your feet to protect your knee and make sure your knees stay behind your toes as you lower down. So this is working your core as well as your legs and your butt. And by moving your arms, you're also in including cardio along with the hopping from side to side. So full body workout. Good job. Now you want to rest. Take about a 60 second break. Walk around. Keep moving so that your muscles stay warm and drink lots of fluids and get ready for the next set of exercises. Again, this is legs and butt, but we are mixing in some cardiovascular moves as well. So you want to make sure that you're taking the rest periods as suggested in the video.
And we're back with the one-legged floor bridge. Lay flat on your back with one leg bent and foot on the floor and the other leg is straight as you then try to raise your hips off the floor. And the one leg is coming up with the hips and the other leg is stationary. Keep your abs tight. Suck your belly button back in towards your spine to protect your core. And then we're going to switch legs. And as you lift those hips off the ground, that leg follows along, the straight leg follows along with you. This is working your core, your butt, and your leg muscles. It is a lot harder than it looks. Get ready for scissor kick lunges. So you're basically lunging, but you're jumping as you're lunging. And so you're on the balls of your feet, and this is primarily working the lower legs, your calf muscles, and your ankles as well. So it's a little tricky, you, you know, but at, to start with a little hop and then just spread those legs apart like you're going into a lunge back and forth, but you're not lunging all the way down. Lying on your side, you're going to raise up your torso and knees are stacked on top of each other and then you're going to lift that top knee away and then close it. These are clamshells. This is working. This is a good core exercise. It's working your entire core as well as your legs and butt. Same thing on the other side. So lifting up your torso lifting your knees off the ground and then opening and closing. Top leg opens away and then closes. This is working your inner and outer thighs, your butt muscles and your whole core. Keep breathing. These are low jacks and we're going to just keep doing jump, jumping jacks but in the low position. You never come out of it. So different than the squat jump where you're squatting and jumping up, here you stay in a low position. So you're in a squat throughout the entire move. Very powerful move. Again, working full body, cardiovascular system and legs, gluteals, all working hard in this move. Keep breathing. should feel those legs burning at this point, but stay there. Stay the lower you get, the more those legs and butt will be working. Just make sure when you are in that squat position, you keep those knees behind your toes. You do not want to hurt the knee joint. Keep breathing. We're almost there for a well-deserved rest. Rest for 60 seconds. Keep moving around so that you don't cool down. Keep your muscles warm. Drink lots of fluid. You worked hard in that last set. Get ready for squat jumps. Here you're basically just going down into a squat and jumping up. And again, it's more of a half squat. Keep those knees behind your toes and propel yourself up. Keep breathing. Keep your core tight. This is working your entire body legs, cardiovascular system, and butt. Get on all fours, and you're going to be crawling like in the army. 
So you're bringing one knee up to your elbow, extending the other arm, and then bringing that knee up to that elbow, and then moving backwards. It's basically two steps forward and two steps back. It's a full body move. Keep breathing. You match up your knee to your elbow. Hand goes up, knee matches it, other hand goes up, knee matches it, and then back. runner's lunge. Starting on the right side, bring your knee up and then extend your leg back. If you lose your balance, don't worry, you can put your toe on the ground, but you want to try and keep the foot off the ground, alternating arms with the knee. So raise your knee up, bring it back. Knee up, leg back. This works on balance, so your core is working, as well as your legs and your butt. Same thing on the other side, left knee up and back, up and back. It's like you're running, but you're not going anywhere. And remember, if you lose your balance, just steady yourself. And if you have to put your foot on the ground, you can keep breathing and focus on an object in front of you to help keep your balance. Crunch that knee up, extend the leg back. Squat kicks, great exercise. We're gonna stay in a narrow squat, so legs are together, and then we're kicking out to the side. Narrow squat is a hard, sometimes hard squat for some people, so you know, go only as far as you can. Make sure that those knees stay behind the toe, and when you raise up, you're kicking out to the side. So in addition to working the quadricep muscles in the front of the thighs. It's also working the abductors on the outer part of the thighs and hips as well as your butt. Sumo kick butt curls. So you're in a wide stance with this squat and as you squat down you're going to come up and kick your heel to your butt while you curl your arms. Again, keep those knees behind the toes to protect the knee joint and go down only as far as is comfortable for you. Keep breathing. Now we're going into butt kicks. Great cardiovascular move as well as working on the legs and the butt. So you're running in place by kicking your heels towards your butt. Your feet are flexed as you try to kick those heels towards the butt and land very softly so you protect your knee joint. As you're running and kicking your heels to the butt, you want to curl your arms. So it's working the front of the arms and it's also working your legs and your butt muscles and your cardiovascular system. Keep breathing, we're almost there. Kick those heels towards your butt. Tighten your core to support you and balance you. Full body move here. Great job working out your legs and butt. If you would like a longer workout session, feel free to repeat this video one or two times for a longer workout.